We have some exciting new technology that we're bringing to the practice, and they are called exosomes. Exosomes are communications between cells. And so the way that works is basically cells talk to each other. And imagine the cells talking to another cell through an envelope, and they send this message of what they want to do. Um, those, the way they talk through this letter or envelope is actually an exosome. What this can do is potentially upregulate hair. Now, in mice models, basically mice without any hair can have a full head of hair. It doesn't look like a chia pet, it's actually a mouse. And anyways, so we're going to be injecting exosomes. Uh, I believe this is the first injection of exosomes. Uh, this is an off-label use of exosomes, although I'm not sure there's any on-label use of exosomes. So basically what we're going to try to do is upregulate my hair. As you may have known, I had a hair transplant, how long was that? August last year. August last year. And so we're going to try to kickstart some of the hairs in here, but more importantly, what we're going to try to do is some of the hairs that are miniaturized. It might be hard to see in my hair. Uh, but there are little areas that I'm worried about miniaturization. So we're going to be kind of focused on this whole area with this. This is an alternative to PRP. Uh, PRP, which I've had uh, both forms. PRP uh, triggers the hair to stay in the growing phase, so it does stimulate hair growth as well. Uh, and PRP, I've had both forms, including uh, cell fill, and then our version of PRP. Uh, and this will be exosomes. I just got injected with exosomes. Uh, kind of my observation is to be injected with lots of different things. Uh, it burns a lot less than PRP. Um, you know, the regenerative potential of exosomes is much greater than PRP as well. So that's another benefit. Uh, the other cool thing is I didn't have to get my blood drawn, which, um, not that it's a big deal, but lots of times it can be a kind of a pain to get your blood drawn, which I don't love getting extra sticks. Um, so, you know, from an injection standpoint, I actually thought it was easier. How much the exosomes were easy to inject. It flowed nicely through a 30 gauge needle. Uh, but overall, I think um, easier than PRP. Um, encouraged. I'll keep you guys updated on how my hair comes along and some of the miniaturization. Thank you.